The starting point of INHERIT is really to tackle the fact that we are living unsustainably and unhealthy. Uh, we are clearly overproducing and overconsuming, and that needs to change. And we focus on three areas. One is on living, like green spaces and um, uh, energy efficient housing. One is on moving, like cycling, uh, walking, active transport. And one is on um, consuming. And we mainly looked at food and moving to plant-based food and uh, eating less meat. We use the behavior change wheel of Professor Susan Michi that helps us to understand three critical conditions that we need to take into account when we want to change behavior. It is that people need to have the opportunity to change, the motivation to change, and the capability to change. And we integrated this behavior change wheel in an inherent model, our scientific model led by Professor George Morris. That we, and we used uh, this model to see how the lifestyles impact on the drivers of climate change and how they provide pressures on the environment and how that then impact health and health equalities. And during the course, you will learn about this model and how you can apply it to think through uh, in integrated ways and to think through our triple win. The second theme is equity. So those who are less well off and are more vulnerable, they suffer more from the unsustainable lifestyles that we live. They often live in areas with less green space, with bad quality housing, with more fast food outlets, for example, and it's far more difficult for them to move out of their situations. They are in a way locked. They don't have the choice, not have the coping resources to do something about their situation. In addition, they also often benefit less from the climate change change mitigation measures that we are taking, which even increases inequalities and, let, and, and leads to more social unrest, for example, which we see with these Yellow Vest movements. In Inherit, we did a foresight analysis where we defined four different positive scenarios of the future. You will learn in this course how these four scenarios will look like. Um, we tested these scenarios with citizens in citizen focus groups uh, in five countries. We actually talked with 118 people from different socioeconomic backgrounds and we also uh, checked the preferences for the futures uh, with um, uh, uh, 10,000, over 10,000 uh, citizens through a household survey. And the outcomes is that people actually they, they see the need and they understand, but they are a bit reluctant to change. They would not really want to give up to eat meat, for example. And people also are a bit more fearful of the technological developments. Um, they, uh, are, they are afraid for the unknown and, and also privacy issues are there. And what people value is uh, being in uh, supportive communities uh, with social cohesion, being with family and friends and work together. So what kind of initiatives are already happening in Europe? We collected over 100 promising practices um, that can address people's behavior and lifestyles so that it's better for the health and for the environment. And we uh, collected them all in a database that you will also learn about uh, during this course. And we selected 15 of them where we did an evaluation. We looked into how the, the good practices came about, like process evaluation, qualitative evaluation, but also impact evaluation and uh, cost effectiveness evaluation. And this course will uh, show you the methodologies that we used and uh, of course all of the lessons that we learned because from 15 studies we learned a lot of lessons and we got a lot of new insights that we will share with you um, during this course.